Welcome back to Casual Buys Rugby. This is the official squad announcement for the All Blacks taking on South Africa Friday evening in Twickenham. And my, my, it's a packed out stadium. <sighs> my emotions are all over the place, to be honest, man. I, I don't even know how to feel about it. I said it in the, in the squad announcement for the South African team that I don't too, care too much about the result. Uh, as you know, we went with like a full strength uh, front row or full strength uh, forwards back. And then like a rotated team uh, when it comes to the back line. But I mean, the All Blacks have just went full out. They're going for the throat, going for the kill. And I mean, I think New Zealand will take a lot of confidence if they get another victory. I think that will be three or four in a row for the All Blacks over, the, uh, over South Africa. I mean, let's get into it. <laughs> As always, starting off with the front row, we got Ethan the Groot, Dane Coles, and Tyrell Lomax uh, in that 1-2-3 jersey. And I mean, these are the guys that kept it tight against the box. I know the box are, are, are dominant. We, we proud ourselves on our physicality and stuff. But I mean, these guys showed us a game when it came to, to the match in Auckland. Uh, they kept... The, <laughs> They, they restricted us, to be honest. I mean, I think they won a couple of technical penalties. I wouldn't say either one of the two teams dominated each other. Um, and just to keep us sound when it comes to, 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 the, to the scrum and, and the line-out is an achievement in itself. So, I mean, no issues there. The guys are absolutely brilliant. I mean, Ethan the Groot and Ty Tyrell Lomax still have a lot of years uh, ahead of them. They, they, don't, they, haven't, they haven't even hit their prime which is actually scary uh, to think Dane Cole's there. Uh, and then you have Samusoni Takiyahu on the bench. I'm not sure is, is uh, oh my goodness, uh, Cody Taylor, is he injured? Is he just resting? What's the reasoning behind it? Because I still feel he's the best hooker uh, in that All Blacks jersey. But I mean, moving on, you got Sam Whitelock and Scott Barrett, of course. Uh, Brody Retalic injured. I'm not sure, is he going to be fit for that first game of the World Cup? Probably not. Uh, but he will be fit for for the the main games of the World Cup. So, I mean, Sam Whitelock, nothing extra to say, usually in that five jersey, but I mean, four or five doesn't really matter. And Scott Barrett, who, in my opinion, at the moment, is still the best lock in the world. Uh, the guy's on form, he's scary, he's a workhorse. Uh, so, I mean, the first five, I mean, it's just talent everywhere, everywhere. I mean, if you were to pick a, a World 15 on current form, <laughs> You could, you could have a shot for Ethan the Grutaro Lomax and Scott Barrett to, to take up three of those slots, which is actually insane. Moving on to the flanks, you got Luke Jacobson. I don't know too much about him, uh, to be honest. Uh, I don't even know for what franchise he plays um, when it comes to like the Hurricanes, Crusaders or whatever. So you could fill me in about that one because uh, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know anything about the guy. But I mean, going on, he's still got Sam Kane, the captain who's been eating stride lately. Um, I know there was a lot of criticism about him, but just as, as Peter Steff, we had like criticism about Peter Steff in that number seven jersey, Sam, Sam Kane has just upped his game since the start of the rugby, uh, almost at the rugby championship, uh, the Super Rugby Pacific, and he's taken that form over into, into the rugby championship. Of course, he got injured, but I mean, the guy is class. He's just the same as Scott Barrett, just a workhorse, always there, a great leader for the team. And then, of course, number eight, the best player in the world, um, Adi Savia. I mean, the less I say about him, the better. I mean, I could say he's the best player in the world and it would still feel like slander. So, I mean, that, that forwards back is absolutely insane. It's like this dominates every team in the world physically. I'm talking about physically, skills, everything, ex except for maybe the box that could match it. Like, they're probably better than the box when it comes to the forward back. Uh, there's a lot more experience uh, in the forward backs of the box. But, I mean, just skill level, talent, experience, just a mixture of everything uh, from the All Blacks. And, I mean, you can't go, you, you can't say anything else, or, or you can't do anything else than, than just respecting it. So, moving on in that back line, and, I mean, there's no surprises here. They've gone with a full strength back line. Uh, Aaron Smith. In that nine jersey, absolutely brilliant. Richie Mwanga, the best 10 in the world. Uh, especially now at the World Cup, seeing that all the other 10s are injured. Uh, I know there's shouts for Finn Russell, but I think Richie Mwanga is levels above. That's just my personal opinion. You can, you can disagree, but if you disagree, you are wrong. So, uh, Aaron Smith, Richie Mwanga, 
inside centers of Jordi Barrett, Rico Yani. I mean, since those two have been paired up, they've been absolutely class. Like, A+, plus, all the way. And then, of course, wings, you got Mark Delia, absolute machine. And then Will Jordan, who looks like he's going to score every time he touches the ball, um, which is frightening. And then 15, Bowden Barrett, who's been absolutely brilliant. So, I mean, just look at that starting lineup. It's talent. It's insane. And, I mean... <laughs> The All Blacks surely have to be the favourites if, if you just look at it uh, purely just because they decided to go full strength team. I think uh, Fozzie has seen this as a, as a massive confidence booster for, for New Zealand, even, the, even though their confidence is high. To beat, the, to beat the Springboks just before the World Cup and then you play France and stuff, I mean, you can't go wrong uh, deciding to go full strength team. <laughs> Clearly not worried about injuries as I was uh, talking about the box. Because I was like, play a full rotated team against this New Zealand team. Um, just avoid injury at all costs because our guys are very fragile at the moment. Just feels like we can get an injury from anything. So, you got to give it to New Zealand. Going up for the throat, going for the kill, no worries. Saying we don't care about injuries. We're playing our full strength team to get that chemistry up, get that peak, keep that peak form going into the World Cup. Uh, Sammy Sony Takiyahu on the bench uh, together with the youngster to Mighty Williams <coughs> and Fletcher Newell. Um, it's the youngsters. That's the future of the All Blacks right there. Uh, Josh Lord on the bench with Tupu Vai, uh, or Tupo Vai, uh, not sure on the pronunciation of the name. Uh, going on Dalton Papali'i. Is it possible to play a, a flank pairing of Dalton Papali'i, Sam Kane, and then you've got Adi Savia behind him? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just underrating Luke Jacobson because I don't know anything about him. Obviously, Shannon Frizzell, uh is that first choice in that number six jersey at the moment. Uh, maybe unless, what's it, Brody Retallick was back. You have Brody Retallick, Sam Whitelock, and then you throw in... What's it, Scott Barrett in that six jersey? I don't know. Tell me what your preference is. But I mean, Dalton Papali is a play and a half. Like, I would do anything to have him in our team. I don't know if if he's rated as much in New Zealand. Uh, but for me, it's just, a, it's just a workhorse. It's just everywhere over the field. And then the back line. It's kind of a weird uh, back line. They went with the 6-2 split as well. Uh, Cam Roy got very exciting, very composed uh, for his age. Cla uh, just exudes class uh, and then Anton Leonard Brown that's the player that I w wish I could have seen maybe in that 12 jersey if they were going for the rotated team I think Anton Leonard Brown has been very good since he's come back from injury uh, but of course you don't want to break the pairing of, of Jordy Barrett and Enrico Yani. they just fit so well together I just think just give him some more game time maybe I've started him at that 12 jersey maybe even if you wanted to throw in Jordy Barrett at 15 again or something like that but I mean it's almost, I almost feel like I'm getting a nightmare looking at this team. It's, it's always a tough game between us and New Zealand. I know, I know I didn't, I said I don't worry too much about the score or, or the result. But obviously, I still want to back my boys. But it's hard to back your boys when they, when we are focusing on getting some chemistry and squad depth, and and you're playing a full strength New Zealand team. So let me know what you think about it. What changes would you have made uh, overall? This is an exciting game. Stacked out Twickenham. More, more people want to watch this game in England than the English want to watch their own game. Which tells you everything you need to know about this. This is the great, greatest rivalry in the sport. Uh, no doubts about it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the match preview. One, two, three.